So this is just to kind of, in the couple of minutes, you know, that we've been sitting here doing this, I've been, of course, talking the whole time. Uh, I've made two, four, six cigarettes in the length of this video. So the beauty of it for me, anyway, is if I wake up in the middle of the night and want to smoke uh, and I'm out, I just simply bust this out, just fire one up real quick, and I am good to go. Now, I don't condone smoking for anybody except myself because it's my choice. But if you're going to do it, there are better ways to do it than, than buying commercial cigarettes. Uh, plus, you get to recoup all those savings and it's pretty, uh, pretty satisfactory knowing that you're sticking it to the man. And these cigarettes, what you'll find is the commercial smokes anyway, they'll also put other chemicals or additives in there to uh, make the cigarettes burn quicker. So on a commercial cigarette I'm only getting probably four to five minutes burn time on them and depending on how tightly these are packed uh, I'm getting an average of about 10 minutes per smoke. So with that being said you're also smoking less than you would normally on a commercial cigarette so you can almost cut that savings or the dollar amount in half again you know so even if it's a dollar 49 a pack like I'm getting if I'm smoking half as much theoretically for the same amount of smoke time I'm only paying half that or somewhere around 75 cents per pack uh, just depends on how you think about it but this tobacco I've got here, this Rambac Gold, it's a Turkish and domestic blend, which is similar to the Camel Light, which is what I used to smoke. Uh, I really like Turkish tobacco. It may not be flavorful for everybody, but it's one of my favorites and I've always smoked it. Uh, but the smoke shop, they have some, some mellow tobacco, which is pretty good. I found it a little bit harsher on the throat if you're smoking a lot. Uh, unlike this particular tobacco, but there is something out there for everybody. Plus, if you're a menthol smoker, you can also uh, make menthol cigarettes. Now, you can see I'm making a little bit of a mess here, but it cleans up real easy. I'm not really trying to be really clean. Uh, you know, cutting off this stuff, which takes a little more time, is strictly optional, but I find it easier to put them in a box or, you know, a, a, a cigarette tin which would be just a cigarette case, I guess, but I'm just making a couple more here. And this machine here, I really like. And I think they're about, oh, 35 to $40, depending on where you source it out. So if you consider the cost of a carton of commercially made cigarettes of a premium brand like Camels or Marlboro's, you're going to be spending about fifty dollars for a carton so you can just do the math on that on when your break even point is but it's only just a couple cartons in and the machine has really paid for itself and then your savings start uh... not to mention they make really cheap company cigarettes even though they're better you know if you've got a bunch of people who are bumming from you all the time i, I think they got down to about i don't know seven or eight cents a cigarette versus 30 35 cents for a commercial cigarette so you know I'm saving about three dollars and fifty cents three to three fifty a pack for each pack I smoke uh, which that in its own right is enough to justify sitting down and spending some of your time you know and if you make them a little long just sit down for an hour and just make cigarettes it's kind of therapeutic nonetheless but you can see as I'm just sitting here talking how many I'm actually making so you know I'll sit down in front of the TV and just do this it's pretty pretty mind-numbing work but you sure will get a benefit off of it uh, especially financially so this is the last one I'm gonna make here I just wanted to show a quick video uh, I'm kinda posting this up for a friend of mine but it may help some other folks as well and this is this particular machine is the the Premier Supermatic and I may new do a, a different video on it to actually give a little finer detail on how it works, maybe how to adjust it if it's out. Uh, this one will do 
regular size cigarettes, which you really won't find any filters for those, but it will do a king size, which is what I smoke, and it will also do 100 millimeter cigarettes, which I do not smoke. Uh, I just figured I'd buy the this particular model because it is an all metal model and it has very few plastic working parts in it, uh, which there are a couple in there that are plastic, but their other model, I think it's the Supermatic 2, is a, uh, I believe it's a plastic model, it's all plastic. So with that being said, this is the last cigarette and making a little mess here, but like I said, it does, it does clean up. Do a little trim, and I'll do a quick count up on how many I've made. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. That's uh, fifteen cigarettes in the length of time this video was running, and again, that is not even really trying to do it. So check these out if you want to save some cash. Uh, you can always sell your paraphernalia on eBay or something like that. If you didn't like it, recoup your money and go back to the commercial cigarettes. But uh, I'll never buy another pack of commercial cigarettes again unless I just simply cannot get tobacco or tubes to make them. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.